We have to explain to people why the wardrobe. What's the wardrobe? Well, well workout wardrobe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Workout Wind wardrobe. Breaker, yeah. So, you know, we had to come here straight from our workout. F45. Shout out to F45. Kicking um, my ass lately. Kicking our butts. You even said I have leg muscles now. You do? <laughs> kind of. First of all, you have to understand what I'm talking about. Daniel's legs are as big as this. <laughs> I have and ch I am chicken legs, not joking. Chicken legs and duck feet. They actually made the chicken leg like. <laughs> can you show it? Can you actually show? Uh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that I'm beauty trying, right there! Man. But hey, he is. Believe it or not, that's him working five days a week now with F45, and I could see a change. I could see a change. I um, hope so. It's there's a little bit of a me. muscle like gather. It's cute. That's a bulge. Hopefully it'll get a better. Bulge, yeah. But it is kicking our ass though. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you uh, said yeah, it. I, I, I said it. Yeah. You said it. I did the early classes and today. I did the late classes. It's kicking my butt. But uh, you know, in the beginning, we've been we consistent. Though. We've, That's we've the been key. consistent. That's, That's very key. true. We've been very consistent. Uh, you know. Just what within two weeks, I went from like having a little bit of man boobs to now actually Tight my chest up, yeah. is, you know, I've touched myself. I was going to say, you I'm do like, look slimmer. I'm like, okay, you do okay, look I, see you, yeah. I see you coming out in you there. You are flexing okay. a lot more lately. Well, you have to. I have to, you know, <laughs> kinda, you know, when you work out two, three times a day, you kind of have to flex. That's the only thing that keeps yeah, me going. Yeah, but when you're hanging out with me and Timmy two times, you don't really need to flex with your <laughs> shirt off. <laughs> I don't understand if there's ladies around, but it's, you're watching football with two dudes. There's no need to really fly. Okay. All right. <laughs> Woo! We start in the show like that? Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be in the show like this. You got a problem with it? I do, actually. <laughs> I do Why do you got a problem? Why I do you got a hate? problem with it. Why do you got a hate? Because you look like an alien, my man. Listen. First things first. I took Timmy two times head with this thing, and I smashed it in fantasy. You did. Smashed it. You did. He, he, he like, you know, you know, it was cute, but... It was not enough to beat me. I smashed his team in fantasy. And then I was like. <laughs> so three and two in fantasy. All of a sudden you think you're a hot shot now. Huh? Yes. Okay. First <laughs> of all, get your shit straight. Three I'm, wins. I'm, 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 what did you say? Three and two? Or are you two and three? I'm two and three. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> two win, three losses. But hey, know get what? your facts straight, okay? <laughs> Hey, yeah. all right, Get all right, your all right, facts all right. straight. Hey, I'm two and three, too. You, you so got to flip the visor. Right. I saw you. Actually, I'm higher than you because I think I scored more than no, you. No, you got to flip the me. visor when you I tell him to get his facts straight. You're actually lower than me. Uh, why yeah, why so do you keep I'll saying it with the head? Like <laughs> you're actually lower than me. <laughs> just uh, letting right. you know. How do we get this shit off? Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to take it off. Just o open the front. I don't know how bikers do this shit. You got the biker hair. Let's go. We got the biker's hair. Woof, woof, woof. Better, than, better than the banker's hair. <laughs> you had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> I did have to go. You had to go there. I had there. to go there, man. I you saw the stress all over your face, to go dude. There. Listen, I saw it. It looked like you work at a bank. It's a new job. It's a lot of responsibility. You know? <laughs> all right? It is what it is. But there's a lot of news. We have a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stories. Where to start? That's the question. But before all of this... I want to say hello to beautiful Ali in production. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. I uh, got my best friend right over here, my co-host, Danny Blue Eyes. And right over here, your host, right out of Huntington Beach. Well, I'm from Chicago. Straight from the bank. Straight from Huntington. Beach. Straight, straight from straight the bank. from Huntington Beach, uh -huh. your host, Yassi. What up, people? Writing those cashier's checks. <laughs> not no <laughs> hell no, Mr. Corbett over here. All right, listen, uh, calm it down. Know. I'm not, in, I'm not in the cashier check level uh, anymore. We've been growing. All right, We've, hey, we're, can we're, I get a hundred pennies for this dollar? Not there <laughs> anymore. No, no. no, it's more like all right, corporate. All right, all right, all right. corporate level. Still baby. gotta give you shit though. No, it's still, still but I'm corporate. It's, it's, right. it's way up, way higher. All right, yeah, you know, sure. Just saying. All right. 
and right. I don't give pennies no more. <laughs> I don't write no more. Right, no hundred No pennies. more money orders. <laughs> no more cashier's checks. Oh, no right. more. Sir, would you like to please, you know, <laughs> take off my whatever fees or whatever? No more that shit. Oh, the overdraft fees. Overdraft. Fees. <laughs> yeah. No more that. We all know, we all know about those overdraft fees. Call in and be like, hey. They hurt. $37 per overdraft? They do. And if you're overdrafting, you're obviously not in good financial situation, which, you know, I've been there many times <laughs> yeah. before. They're like, wait, you're in a bad situation? We're going to watch so We're about to make it worse. I have zero dollars, but I'm going to put you to negative 37. I would always call my bank and be like. So that next time oh. you get paid, we take our money first and give you a little leftovers. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Not only do you got Banks Uncle Sam, smart. you got the bank there too. Banks are smart. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're smart. They're like Uncle Sam. Mm -hmm. Uncle Sam gives a break to the rich people and all the banks, you know, they give a break to the rich people. You know, it's the ones with the good job that don't have to pay for fees because mm -hmm. they have all the money coming in and all direct deposits and all that stuff. But if you're broke, those fancy people, huh? We're going to make it worse. <laughs> what they we're do. coming for you. If you got <laughs> one piece of bead, we want half. <laughs> That's it. That's it. it. That's how They'll banks work. Uh -huh. I don't get it. All right. We have to explain to people why the wardrobe. What's the wardrobe? Oh, well, well, workout wardrobe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Workout Wind wardrobe. Breaker, yeah. So, you know, we had to come here straight from our workout. F45. Shout out to F45. Kicking um, my ass lately. Kicking our butts. You even said I have leg muscles now. You do? <laughs> kind of. First of all, you have to understand what I'm talking about. Daniel's legs are as big as this. <laughs> I have and I am chicken legs, not joking. Chicken legs and duck feet. They actually made the chicken leg like. <laughs> can you show it? Can you actually show? Uh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that I'm beauty trying, right there. Man. But hey, he is, believe it or not, that's him working five days a week now with F45. And I could see a change. I could see a change. I um, hope so. It's there's a little bit of a me. muscle like gather. It's cute. That's a bulge. Hopefully it'll get a little better. Bulge, yeah. But it is kicking our ass though. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you oh, said yeah, it. I said, I said it. Yeah. You said it. I did the early classes. And today I did the late classes. It's kicking my butt. But I, you know, in the beginning, we've been consistent. Though. We've, That's we've the been key. consistent. That's, That's very key. true. We've been very consistent. Uh, you know. Just what within two weeks, I went from like having a little bit of man boobs to now actually Tight my chest up, yeah. is, you know, I've touched myself. I was going to say, you I'm do like, look slimmer. I'm like, okay, you okay, okay slimmer, I, see you, yeah. I see you coming out in there. You are okay. flexing a lot more lately. Oh, I have to. I have to, you know, <laughs> so can I, you know, when you work out two, three times a day, you kind of have to flex. That's the only thing that keeps yeah, me going. Yeah, but when you're hanging out with me and Timmy two times, you don't really need to flex with your shirt <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't understand if this lady's around, but it's, you're watching football with two dudes. There's no need to really flex. You guys flex all the time, too. I'm you guys saying. wear a beer pong freaking game. You guys start flexing out of nowhere. Flexing is just in our DNA. Yeah, so. that beer pong, uh, the beer pong at my crib over the weekend got a little heated. Um, well, first of all, yeah. let's talk about that weekend. <laughs> God, it was messy. It was messy. It was I like, all right. Well, first of all, before the weekend... On. Got a call and it was like, let's go golfing. I'm like, I've never golfed before. That is true. You popped your cherry this That's weekend. That's right. I popped my cherry, people. That's right. I popped my cherry in golf. And you were against golfing, weren't you? Before you went, you weren't really... I just didn't fun. get it. Yeah, you didn't get it. I didn't you get it. I wasn't trashing it. I was like, the, the reason why I wasn't trashing it because I... I see a lot of people that are into golfing. Yeah, a lot and of people. I'm like, people, okay, there's exactly. something there's into it. There's got to be something into it. And then I got to the golfing course. Like two holes in. Well, hold on. First of all, Not I got to tell the story. I get, get to the golfing course. You, you were sitting waiting for me in your car. Yep. Timmy Two Times was on his way. So I set the tee time at 2.40. Yep. You show up at 3. I Tim, show up at 2.55. Two, <laughs> two and Tim shows up at 3.30. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. First of all, you, you know what I was doing all that. I was running back and forth. <laughs> I understand. I had a friend from over. I'm never the one that is late for anything. I'm always on time. But that day was very hectic. There was a Trump rally in the way as well. Oh, I'm People PCH, in Huntington huh? in Huntington Beach just like going like all over Trump and with the Trump flags and like yeah, fake news and stuff and Trump. yeah, it was it was getting funny. Not that I'm trashing Trump's fans, but yeah, no, I'm actually trashing Trump fans. Get your life together. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Don't tell Tito that. <laughs> I would, I'm sure you wouldn't say that to Tito's face. <laughs> That's probably why you did a virtual one, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Let's keep him at a distance. 
Let's keep him over there at Huntington Harbor. Yeah, he's a huge Trump fan. I'm not going to lie. The virtual thing kind of worked for that one. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then, I um, doubt it. then I met Dan at the golf course. And you did? we're sitting over there. It was we, nice to have a new we, I, I'm not going to lie. My first swing sucked. His first swing sucked. And oh, he's been doing it. Yeah. And then we got warmed up a little bit. And he gave me better. some pointer. Yeah. And then it got a little better. And I was like, I showed him better. better. Yeah. And then he was like, hey, what would you like to drink? I got Gatorade and vodka. And I'm like, that's something else I've never tried either. See? Let's let, let's have there it. Let's go. go. Today it's all about new stuff. So I hit that first drink and I'm like, this is nice. This is nice. Right? This is nice. I'm sitting down in the car. I'm okay, having so my golf in my you know my golf club in my hand. I'm like, this is nice. It is nice. I can get used to You get to a this. golf cart. Yeah. You drink. You yep. usually have nice views because yep. golf courses are pretty. Yep. And then then you golf. Yeah. But. Half of it is you swing the club, you know, yeah, you, you gamble a little yeah, bit. Well, that's we did that. So Timmy two times got in there. Then we started gambling on golfing, which made it even more the fun. The thing is about you, you could gamble and be competitive, but you don't yep. need to break a sweat. That's no, the you thing. Don't. You yeah. don't need to sweat. Yeah. You just swing a club. And then if you mess up, you get back in the cart, okay. you take a few sips, yep. and you look at the nice views. So You're that's, right. Uh, you know, that's... You're right. You know, we, we don't take golf too seriously. We just take it serious enough. You know, only... Bet a few holes, take a few holes off, you know. I agree. I mean, we're not out there, then. I agree, but I think when I, once I get into something, I get much better at it. So watch out, my golfing is gonna get only better. I actually, you were golfing with some bad clubs. I actually bought this set of clubs, right? Did um, you buy new clubs? No, no, the oh. set we were golfing okay. with. Yeah, we yeah. actually, we all share my set. Yeah, they yeah. always say you need your own bag per person, but we don't care. We just yeah, yeah, no. go out there. We share my, we share my set. My set was actually um, the whole set was one dollar. It was 10 clubs for a dollar at the flea market. So, so I did okay with a really <laughs> bad set from the flea Ten market. 10 clubs for a dollar. Imagine that deal. That's not bad. <laughs> I'm actually more proud of is myself. That, that's hard to beat. It, that's that really hard, hard to, to I did, beat. I did, I, did, I did good for myself then. I'm not going to lie. I love very... my flea markets. Okay. I use stuff. I'm actually ordering a whole yeah, you're golf. Gonna go yeah, all bougie Amazon. On oh, it. yeah, I got you. But I don't mind because I'm going to be using those clubs. I've been so. eyeing them all week. Oh, yeah, you're going to use your clubs once I buy mine because I want to whoop your ass. That's for sure. Like, uh, no, I don't have it. No. Yeah, no, my I ass. I don't have the four. No five. Nope. <laughs> no, no nothing. No nothing. I'm out. Nothing. Nothing for you. Um, No, but it was fun. I liked it. I really enjoyed it. And then... I get in the car and he's like, well, let's go watch the UFC fights in my, my place. I'm like, all right, that sounds like a good deal. I'm getting my car. He's getting car to me. Two times he's getting his car. And then he calls me. He's like, hey, I left my uh, beer pong table in San Diego. Do you mind going and getting yours? I'm like, oh, God, dude, I got to go all the way to Huntington Beach and then drive back to Long Beach. I'm like, it's really, no. He's like, dude, like that would be a big help. A lot of people are going to be over. Everybody likes to play beer pong. And then he sold it to me. He kept selling it. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. Fine. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> so I Usually went, fuck you means got it's the okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> sure. <laughs> fuck I you went, means yes. Went, I'll do it. picked up the table. Happy Kathy decided to come over too. So I ended up driving over there. And then I got over there. Not too many people over yet. Just me, Timmy, two time, Dan, Mariah. And we lost then, some money on the fights. Oh, and uh, Mariah's sister was over from out of town. And then we lost some money on the fights, on the UFC fights. All because of that stupid... UFC always fucks up. Uh, fucks us e either way. It's that kick in the head. Oh, well. That kick in the head barely caught always. him. Always. It's like, you know, you, you, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Like, we can't not, not bet over them. All the lines were kind of pretty close. Because Miguel hasn't been giving us the fire picks lately. That's why. Remember when it we first started? It is Miguel's fault. Yeah, he was giving us some fire picks. But you know what? Came off the gates I'm hot. actually going to say this. My UFC picks are much better than Miguel's. Oh, Miguel's wow. have been fucking That's up. That's a bold yeah. statement. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's not a bold statement. I just know my picks are better than Miguel's. Oh, I, wow. I, I, we'll I took Miguel's pick. It worked for me for like two cards. And then I started following Miguel. And I'm like... I'd bet on it. I'd be like, why am I betting on this? And then I'd be like, no, I should have followed my instinct. And I'm not going to lie. I'm going to follow my instinct. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to follow my instinct because uh, Miguel has fucked me up next weekend. for the last uh, five cards. We got an well, no, he hasn't been given his picks the last few cards. So it's just kind of been all up to us and it's not been going well. No, it's been all up to you said you've heard and you've heard some of only. It's from what I'm reading. Uh, OK, I'm thinking those are from Miguel. No, no, uh. no. I would say specifically. Oh, so there. Miguel hasn't been giving us anything. No, I've been asking for them, but haven't. I don't know. 
the hell, Miguel? Kind of silent. Fucking hell, man. That's what, what kind I'm of saying. Friends in this, is this, what kind of friend is this I don't guy? Know. I think he wants all the money for himself. I think he was mad. He wasn't getting a cut or something. Wow, Miguel. That's uh, that's uh, that's a well, lot. Well, we'll man. let him know to have his picks ready for that Gaethje card because that's a big one. All right, that's Miguel. a big one. We got nine days. <laughs> FYI, Ten days. Miguel is a white dude, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> he is a white dude. He's a white. He's as white as they get. I met white. him one time. White and Polish. Oh, no, he went to my high school, but I played basketball with him once. He did. Um, anyways, so, and then uh, party got crazy. People got drunk. People got really drunk. I wasn't one of them for once. Happy Kathy was one. <laughs> Happy Kathy had fun. Well, she was know, intoxicated. I don't know if I want to go. <laughs> all right, if I want to go down there, I was like, "Fuck it." She was. Oh, I was watching over her. Uh, she was having yeah, fun. Yeah, of course. I was watching all over her. Um, but it, she wasn't the only one. And I know why she got a little tipsy. It's because your sister-in-law was handing her shot after yeah, shot after shot. Oh, there was a lot of shot. shots. Going oh, down. there was a lot of shots. Lot I was very shots. happy. I had very few drinks. Like hell on myself. Dad looked at me in the like before we went I'm to the bar. It's like. Went. Are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I was like, just, you know, babysitting I'm, I'm right now. I'm glad I didn't join on the shot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you too. Like, you yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get to the I'm bar okay. and they're like, yeah, shots. And I'm like, yeah. yeah no, I don't no, think no, so. No, no, no. And then this dude slapped my butt. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't happy. <laughs> and I was about to put him through a wall. And then I was like, well, listen. <laughs> You don't want to do that again. <laughs> Wait, so, oh, yeah, I remember that. Where yeah. He slapped, he slapped your butt, right? Slapped my butt. Okay, so. <laughs> slapped my butt. And it was like, not a, it was a slap. He slapped my butt. That's a big no-no. So just between, you know, straight guys and stuff, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think there is a little bit of butt slapping etiquette, per se. Yeah, but, oh, see. Okay, <laughs> butt slapping, I want to say it's only allowed on the sports field, right? Exactly. Only allowed. That's my rule. Only allowed. I know people only are more allowed. open to butt slapping now, but, you know, if it's you or Timmy Two Time or someone who's well, very that'd close. that would still be strange. I'll not give you a look, field. but I'm not going to put you through a wall. I know your no, intentions are... No, I'm saying if you, like, slap my ass, that'd be very strange. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Saying. But you know my intentions are not bad. I'm just teasing you or joking with you. Uh -huh. But when it's someone that you see once a year, once every two years, you know him... You know, that dude was more of an acquaintance to me, mm -hmm. not a friend, so not someone to hang so out with. So slapping, so we said slapping ass is only on a sports field. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, All right, settled. No, I that's agree. It. That's it. Yeah. Anywhere else, it that's raises got, qu questions. That's, that's why I left like five minutes that's after. That's it, right? Did you wh why did you think I left five minutes after? No, you got to uh, do what you got to do. That was like, all right, listen, you want to do this again? <laughs> yeah. It's not going to go well. It's <laughs> not going to go well. You know, that husky in me is going to come out and, you know, all this shit is about to go over. So let's The fighting not. husky or the banker husky? Oh, the, oh. <laughs> F you for that. I'm not going to yeah. let you live it down, man. I saw uh, it all over your face today. All right, all right, all right, all right, all all right. right. moving on. Moving on. A lot of shots were done that night, and I did not enjoy the butt slap. Anyways, um, how was your Sunday? Did you... Uh, well, well, hold on, then, hold on. You actually have a good story. So, I went home, <laughs> and then what happened to you? <laughs> no, just uh party never left. They kept... <laughs> I swear, everyone just kept taking shots and playing beer pong to like 4.30 in the morning. And, you know, I have all these people over in my tiny one-bedroom apartment. So I wanted <laughs> yep. I wanted to go to sleep at, like, 1 o'clock yeah. midnight at yep. the bar. You I'm were like, done. All right, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm like, I'm over this. I left at a perfect time. Yeah, of course. I'm yeah. like, I'm over this, you know. But everyone came back. Everyone yeah. kept drinking. So I just kind of laid there in the living room and just went to sleep. That's it. <laughs> laid did some cushions on the floor. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then I woke up, and then there's another person on the floor, one person <laughs> in the recliner, two people in the bed, and another person on the couch. Wow. I'm like, wow, okay. I well, guess that's everybody <laughs> stayed up. I texted <laughs> um, Timmy two time at like two in the morning. I'm like, hey, because, you know, Dan lives with his girlfriend. He's got an apartment. I've got a house. So I'm like, hey, do you want me to keep the house open, you know, for a little oh, bit? Yeah. And it was like, yeah, you know what? Just keep it open all night. I, I, I might be there. I might not be there. I was like, all night. I don't know. I about think he that. was trying was like, to weigh out. The yeah, he was. Like, yeah. But I'm not going to stay with my door. It's probably a good idea he didn't drive, though. It's probably was he idea. that drunk? Well, I'm sure. I mean, all he was right. drinking, all you right. know. Because right. when I left him, he was know. in a good state. Yeah, He was course. one of the ones that was in a good state. Some girls were trashed. Some girls were very tipsy. Mariah was doing okay yeah, when I left. She was. she was doing very okay. 
She was watching over her sister. She was being responsible. I saw her get in the white trash and chill. I but like, yeah, I did. I woke up. Um, I woke up not too hungover, so I was happy. So I was able yeah. to enjoy football and yeah. actually win some money. There you go. I was actually pretty worried. I the um, Chiefs didn't fuck you. No, they fucked me. All right. <laughs> they, were like, yeah, they fucked me. I'm it's just, never good. They fucked everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had them tied in into like a few parlays, a few teasers, okay. and then of course when they went down, I live lined them a few times. Okay. And of course, I lost everything. I was down at one o'clock on Sunday. I was down nine hundred dollars to my bookie. Ugh. And I'm like, I'm, you know, when you're down nine hundred, you're like, never a good look. you're like nine hundred, nine hundred. I was down nine hundred bucks. So you came back. Listen, so I th- I sat there, you know, really down and out. Me and Tim <sighs> both lost a lot of money, and we thought, like, you know, what should we do? Should we just call it a day and just? Bite, right. our, bite our losses because yeah. we don't want to go down more. Yeah. But no, we're not pussies. We put on our hard caps. <laughs> we put on our hard helmets and we went to work, dude. We went to work. <laughs> we are live lining the Cowboys. We are live lining the next game. And then uh, eventually we won a bunch of money off the Seahawks because they went down. So we kept live lining. I ended up going 500, up 500 on my bookie. Wow. From down 900 to up 500 in That's a matter a of six day. hours. Yeah. That's a good day. And Mariah comes home and, you know, she had to do a bunch of stuff that day. Yeah. And she thought I was just laying around watching football. I'm like, no, I'm out here working. Yep. I'm out here grinding. Yep. yep. It may have looked like we're just watching nope. football, but I'm dripping yep. sweat. I had my I'll hard bet. hat on. I'm like, babe, I'll I ain't bet. watching football. <laughs> I'm working. I'm a fourteen hundred dollars swing at six. We get it on. We I'm, are getting it I'm, on. I'm proud of myself. Good you know, man. I I could have just laid there and quit and just yeah. paid the bookie and yep. be like, here, here you go, bookie. But no. Yeah, that's what I did. It shows that's you what out I did. There. I was, Don't quit when the going gets tough. That's what I did. Grab a your sack weeks, and yeah, get does, out it, there. It doesn't work if you go down. And by the way, oh, if I went down, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> on, which was very possible. Hold on, hold on. I want to say this. Please oh. do not listen to everything we say and go do the same and come and like sue me later on. I put a disclaimer in the. Oh, she does. Yeah, okay. I want to give the disclaimer in the description because um, with the number to call if you have a problem with gambling too and everything. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, cool. I saw yeah, that. if you have a problem, look in the description yeah, below, I'm on please. It. I'm on it. <laughs> go call that number. But you know the feeling, though. You've been down a oh, lot. God, yeah. I've been down like fifteen hundred. I mean, I'm like, it's Sunday, and I'm like, I'm down fifteen hundred. Do mm, I want to give this yeah. mo for fifteen hundred? I don't know about nah. that. Hold on. So I'll just start the grinding. Thing is if I'm it, like, exactly like, because then you I'm like, grinding. what's the worst case scenario? I'm gonna give him more. Cool. <laughs> not cool. Not cool. <laughs> cool. Fine. Not cool. But at least I'll know that I came out swinging. Yeah, <laughs> you know? went out like, swinging, dude. <laughs> Right, it's either handing the bookie yeah. money over or taking a few yeah, shots. that's it. And fighting it's back. It's Sunday. This is it. That's it. This dude. is it. This, this is, is the last quarter of the finals. And everyone knows you settled with the bookie it, on Monday. It is so game seven. Is, it's it is. <laughs> it's game seven. Oh yeah. In the finals, Th- there is there is no coming back. We, there is no other game. There is no other day. So it's Sunday. It's time to sack up. It's time to sack up. Sack get up. your get your and mojo get those going. Lines ready. Get those Twitter fingers ready. That's get it. that money live. <laughs> that's it. Get them fingers working. Get that brain working too. Oh man. Um, did you did you live line the Cowboys after Dak? Uh, no, before Dak. So when Dak went down, I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> man, look, Dalton <laughs> is coming back. I was like, fuck, Fire Dick. All my money is riding on Fire Dick right now. <laughs> I swear, dude, that red head, that red rifle, man. <laughs> Scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, when I saw his ankle, I was like, there goes my, his ankle <laughs> looks like my bank account right now. That's literally what I thought. I'm not laughing at Dak. Gallup right bailed me out with People, those few catches. I am not laughing at that, Dak. I'm just laughing at the situation that 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 Dan was in, but that's yeah. funny. Yeah, I thought that, I was in the toaster, dude. I funny. thought I was in the toaster. Actually, I messed up that day. So I woke up and I usually place my bed super early. Yeah, I'm usually in the morning. I usually yeah, do it on the yeah. toilet. <laughs> Exactly. That's why I have all the dudes. It's because it's the only place where it's like, people don't Nobody like, bugs you. No one bugs you. That's the thing. Cause exactly. I'll start pulling out my lines in the morning and yeah. Mariah will be like talking about coffee or Gilmore <laughs> Girls or whatever right it is. This is not time. Yeah. Not and she time. just thinks I'm playing on my this phone is, and I'm like, is, I'm not. Yeah. 
I'm, I gotta, I'm I gotta, work. I gotta set up my game plan for yeah. the day. I'm having a morning meeting. Exactly, here. I'm having okay. a morning meeting with myself. The, yes, I have to every morning. So that's why I just go to the shitter. To I'm place having my a one on one with myself. Exactly. That's it. Simple. Mm-hmm. I'm having a meeting with myself. Sometimes mm-hmm. we'll do a conference call in the morning. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we do call. conference calls. <laughs> conference like, call. Hey, who are you thinking <laughs> about this? Thinking? What are you thinking? What you thinking? Like, no, no, I'm not feeling that one too much. I'm not. Stay away from that one. And and then we'll go based on the picks that we give you guys yeah, over here we try, as yeah. well. And then, of course, then the live line comes to play. And we that, love our live lines. <sighs> we love them. We do. So I woke up and then I was like, all right, well, it's 830. I've got another 30 <laughs> minutes of sleep, a 30 minute meeting. And then, you know <clears throat> what I mean? And then I'm good to go before 10 because the games here in California start at 10. Mm-hmm. And I closed my eyes and I woke up and it was like 1045. Fuck! Uh, yeah. There goes all my teasers. Yeah, the teasers. No. Because you can't, you can't play mm-hmm. live lines and I stuff. I just didn't bet the whole game. Did, it yeah. fucked my whole day. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't have those teasers, and mostly those ten o'clock games, because there's so many of them at yeah, ten o'clock. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta hop on it. them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I was like, if I do something, it's gonna be a rush. I, you know what? Fuck it. I'm done. So I took the day off on Sunday, which I know I miss on a lot of money. Go to bin because a lot a of roller coaster, that man. Seahawks game. I'm kind of big in my head, not putting money. Oh, on I'm it. surprised you didn't. I, yeah, I saw that game going that way. Dude, they I literally got them. Um, you know, when the Vikings were driving down yep. and whatever, they were up, yep. they were up, what was it, eight points or yep. something, and yep. they went for it on fourth and mm-hmm. uh huh. Uh, oh, yeah, they were that up was six by the way, fu- that was getting five greedy. Points. Oh, yeah. That was Big getting time. super greedy. Oh, they were up five points, and then they could have kicked a field goal. To and make then it been eight, up yeah. eight points, eight and points, then they yeah, would yeah. have mm-hmm. to make Russell go for the extra two points. Exactly. They just got greedy. But fourth and inches, they wanted to put the game away. But that was such they a huge stop. Anyway, at that point, they were plus 1,400. So they're 14 to 1 odds to win the game. And I'm like, fuck it. You know, I'll just throw 25 bucks on it right yeah. now for shits and giggles. Yeah. And it ended up paying out like 400, like 350. The problem is, nice. I don't, I find if we're starting to break it down the games a little bit, I mean, just, I feel like that the coach didn't trust his defense because it's very simple. You're up eight point. No, you I You got think, what? How many minutes left? A couple minutes left? Yeah, a couple minutes left, like two minutes it, left. It, even if Russell scores a TD. He has to score another two point conversion know, but to go to overtime. That's that's what he didn't want Russell to get the ball back. That was the whole point of him going for it. Because if they got that first down, they would have yeah, ran out the yeah, clock. They yeah. would have ran out the clock. So he he's probably thinking, even if I kick the field goal here, Russell still has two minutes to drive down the field and tie up the game. Right. That's what he was thinking. So I understand. I think it was the right move. Did he get whooped for it? I, I, not really. I mean, come on. You can't for fourth and inches. <laughs> this girl came. Fourth and inches. <laughs> this girl. Mariah's sister came to me on Saturday and we started talking football. And she's like, yeah, my Vikings are three and L. Um, what Vikings are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> Wait. I, I uh, want to live in that world you live in. Hold that's on. When, that's when the conversation ends. <laughs> this is like over okay, done. Yeah. Like my Vikings are three uh, and L. Oh. Like, I'm like, you no, know. No, mm, no, um, no, you, no, you know. No. You're pretty and all, but no, I think so. See, when girls start talking like they know yeah. football, or, oh, this is my team, and then, you know, they don't even know their record or what time they play. It, I'm yep. just like, okay. Yeah. Mariah, don't open my ass for me. Just joking with your sister. I'm not making fun I was fun just going to say, you're getting brave. <laughs> Very brave. <laughs> he is brave. getting brave. I am getting brave. But, it's a little but, testy hey. today, living on the edge. <laughs> no, I'm living on the edge. It's true. So very Actually, true. Um, I was read. Uh, well, you know, we're part of a, like, you know, group text and everything. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> Alan's a bit, you know, Commissioner Ball, which you no. may have a fight with. We don't know yet. Hey, I'm doing. Uh, hold on. Let's talk about that first. Wait, wait, wait. Right, no, fine, no, you have no, a story. Not, wait, it's the right. end of the show. Right. Anyway, he sent this text, which was pretty funny. He's like, I'm not liking my bets today. But I'm feeling dangerous. <laughs> I was like, that's a pretty good freaking line right there. Right. So I had to tip the cap to that. When line. it comes to funny. Alan, great dude, nice pretty dude. Pretty funny fucking. Now line. I'm starting to ask myself, why did he call me out? Because I feel like I'm going high and dry over here and I'm making all these moves. I don't have a contract in front of me. And yeah. as long as I don't have a contract in front of me. 
that means the fight ain't happening because every time I talk to Alan, mm -hmm. he's like, I gotta ask Mrs. Ball. I, I know. gotta ask Mrs. Ball. Watch I got. He's like, I got. I'm sorry, Alan. I gotta Another call one, you out. Dude, Mrs. <laughs> Alan, come on. Yeah, uh, that wasn't a good look. No, for him. and he said it look. more than twice, three he times. He did. I'm like, no, brother, you're digging a deeper hole. I'm You're like, no, nah, I don't know about that. I need to find <laughs> another opponent. I don't know. And you were getting excited. You're like, I let's, was. Let's do it this December. <laughs> it's like, fuck February. Well, eight week training camp. Because like, I know the longer we put it off, the more excuses are going to come up. Uh, and At I'm, least on his By own. the way, and you live here in I know he's going to have a kid Since soon, we talked about... Possibly. Hey, congratulations so on the kid, saying. by the way. I Not hope yet. goes well. <laughs> I mean... Oh, is she pregnant? No. Oh, dude, <laughs> then let's get going, But dude. I know, you know... You have two fights you need to <laughs> win. Come on. <laughs> to, to the rematch. <laughs> and none of them that's, <laughs> will give you a rematch. See, that's why, we need, that's why we need to set a date. You know, like when uh, Poirier and McGregor. Said, hey, I said, let's set a day. That's fine. I said January, I, dog. I said January. I said February. I said June. No, we need an exact date. Dude, I don't care. All right. H how long have I been working? How many All How right. many times have I been working a day? All right. With my 9 to 5, with my podcast. I've been waking up at 5. I've been going to the gym. I've been going after I work. I tell. I've been, I'm, I'm on drained. Something. I'm yeah. on something. <laughs> I'm in that husky mode. I know. I'm texting this morning then. I'm like, and this happened, and this happened, and that happened. He's like, whoa. <laughs> I'm not taking what you're taking. Yeah. Just hold on. <laughs> hold on. We need to be on the same but page. But if you got over. extra, I, <laughs> I would appreciate it. <laughs> slide it across the table because I will gladly take whatever you're taking. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. It's I just, swear, dude. It's just you had like 25 business plans in the matter of two minutes. <laughs> I'm like, and I talked to that guy, and he said this, oh, and I talked to the other guy, and he said that. Oh, and I'm so like, we need to make a decision. Like, <laughs> Hold on. I just it's eleven. I just I just woke up. I just had, had my morning meeting that I didn't give a fuck oh, about. Hold on. Yeah, hold. That I didn't And I'm give a fuck going about. after it. But anyways, um actually uh, Tim was uh Tim was there when I took my morning meeting. Uh -huh. And my morning meeting like lasts like an hour. And when we got done, he's like, dude, you literally said two words in that whole meeting. <laughs> I was like, I know. I think your company's going under, bro. Pretty, pretty impressed, huh? I think your company's going under. Two words, like, uh-huh. Is it is it is uh -huh. it still going under? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I don't know. I, okay, here's my question. Are you going under or is the company going under first? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> What's the live line What's on the that? line on that one? <laughs> What's the line on that one? Hey, who cares? Husky's getting bigger and bigger, though. So it's true. Hey, we may have a new, brand new studio too. So not who studio. Knows? We might be partnering up with someone very soon, but yeah. we'll keep that one on the down low. Yeah, for we'll now. keep it on DL. That's but all the deeds gonna you're gonna get. But we're gonna keep on the DL. That's all the deeds. But we're get. working some stuff with some, um, you know, some different brands. Just pulling a few strings. Yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, big things are in the works. Big that's things are sure. in the works. That's for sure. All right, moving on. <laughs> moving on. I'm gonna move on from this subject. I want to give up too much. Um, dude, Dak, going back to Dak, that freaking incident. Yeah, when you saw it, it just made you cringe, man. It, Listen, uh, I wasn't watching the game live, uh, and then I saw your text with the group message because we have, you know, this uh, fantasy, you know, football group message, mm -hmm. and you said, <laughs> what is it, the Dak Shack? Or what the fuck <laughs> oh, did? well, because uh, Miguel actually has, um, Dak Prescott on his team. Oh, okay. And I think his team name's like, you know, Rape Shack something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I sent a picture of, you know, fucking <laughs> Dak, Dak Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. when you And then I wrote, when you realize you're going to the Rape Shack. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a funny meme was, I created on the spot. I didn't get it at oh. the moment. I'm like, that was the Olive Garden. <laughs> The Olive Garden, and my uh, waitress was like, "What'd you like?" I was like, mm. "Oh, you're at Olive Garden at yeah, that time." I oh. was like, "I'd like uh, because you you know I have YouTube TV and I always watch the games yeah, um, yeah. on my phone." Mm -hmm. So I just thanks got for your account, by the way. For what? YouTube TV. Yeah, you, you're, you're, nice you're using the shit it. out of it, yeah. ain't it? Yeah, I know. I am. I it's know. actually it's funny because when someone you know in your family else watches it, sometimes you're like, I get, get the fuck off. Out. I know. I'm like, what the what? fuck? <laughs> and you kick us back off. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. So let me. I'm like, get let, me, let me explain to you. <laughs> so I have a YouTube um, TV account, and it only lets us access, I think, three at a time. And I have three TVs alone. No, more, actually. The ones upstairs. I have like five, six you TVs. You have an excessive amount. Yes. And I have people in my place sometimes over and they like to watch their own shit. And I like, I'm the one paying for the account. I like paying for my shit. 
I have three TVs for NFL football. So I was kind enough and I was like, here you go, Dan. You could use my account. And then sometimes I wake up on my Sunday. Nobody wants to come over, you know, to watch the games with me, which is fine. Hey, I've made one I, Sunday. You, I made a couple Sundays. But anyways, okay. um, I wake up and I turn my TVs around. I want to put this game in this TV and this game in this TV. And I'm going to put NFL Red Zone in this TV so I can enjoy a little bit of yeah. everything. It's nice. And I want the volume in this one TV. So I have literally three TVs put in one spot. That's a nice setup. It is a very nice setup. It is. And I then I wake up and then YouTube TV gives me that like warning thing. Like too many people are using it. And I'm like, this motherfucker. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I get the fuck I'm off. I'm like, thing. get the fuck I'm on off. my couch like and this. Then I'll kick this TV and then this TV will get kicked off. Yeah. And then I'll get this that. TV back and this one will get kicked off. And then I'll get it. And for like two, three minutes, I'm like, okay, it's this motherfucker's oh, turn. Oh, yeah. And then like five minutes later, I'm getting kicked off again. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... This oh, yeah. motherfucker. Oh, yeah. This, you fucked up my, my whole plan for Sunday. That's the only day I need to use it is on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> That's the only. This is why I have three TVs in one spot. Well, I'll try to make this Sunday to your place. All, all right. right. All right. All right. It's fair all enough. Right. Hey, we do get the cookies if we end up winning. If we don't oh, yeah. win. The cookies and cover. Yes. The cookies and cover. Me and Tim actually did it Sunday night at my you place. You guys had cookies? We did. Yeah. No, we we no. have this tradition. It's basically we call it cookies and cover. We that cover the spread on the Sunday night game, and then after we cover the spread, we're so happy. And we, only if you're up money wise, everybody yeah. is up in that room. Yeah, you got to be up. That you have to be. Then you deserve cookies and. Then milk. you deserve cookies and for, milk. For me, it's cookies and OJ, but that's yeah, for another day. That's another day. <laughs> that's for another day. <laughs> but yeah, we call it uh, cookies Sorry, and cover. So for for Sunday night, guys, oh, hop on. Shush. It. Disgusting. It's really a great feeling. You that? win money and then you eat cookies, yeah. fresh baked cookies. I agree. That was actually, and you're right. I cookies was gonna get the cover. regular cookies. And like, no, 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 no. We need to make them fresh. Like, fresh, you need to yeah. get. What did you ask for that night? What did it's you buy? It's the pre-made cookie dough, like the yeah. right. pre-made cookie dough. Yeah, yeah and it so was the we got. I remember me, you, and Tim. We were actually all sitting outside. We're like, here's the plan. We're gonna bet big money on the Packers and over the eat Saints. Some cookies. We're gonna win about five hundred bucks. <laughs> Take the money from the bookie, and then we're going to bake fresh baked cookies. <laughs> Three hours later, we all look we're at each other eating like, the cookies, like <laughs> giving each other some up. cookies and cover. Yep. Hop on the it, guys. The first place was put down, and we smashed it right away. We're like, please, Saz, there's more coming. There were more coming. Yeah. And then we ate more. Well, I bought the big tube and I made the whole thing. And more. Me, Dan, Timmy, two times. Ali, Shout happy out to Kathy. the producer for going, yeah, to, yeah. going to get the cookies. Yeah. Shout out to Ali for going and getting the cookies for us. All right. So if you guys want to join Cookies and Cover for the Sunday night cookies game. Cookies and Cover. <laughs> Come on. Cookies. It's got a nice ring to it. It does, actually. Cookies I like it. Cookies and Cover. Cookies and Cover. You have to understand how Cookies and Cover. You got to deserve it. You can't just have exactly. cookies. Exactly. You got to cover the spread You got to earn it. You got to deserve it. Period. Mm -hmm. All right, dude. Cookies fantasy football. Let's talk some fantasy. We'll have to talk right. fantasy in a minute. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed <clears throat> in my team right now. I'm sitting at two and three. I know you're sitting at two and three. Oh, yeah. We're actually in very similar spots in the standings. We are. I'm about five points ahead of you. Okay. So I would technically be in the last playoff spot over you, and you would just miss out right now if it ended today. No, 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 no. You're if wrong. If it ended you're, today, you're wrong. If it ended Let today, me pull it up. I think you're wrong. I'm not wrong. I think I'm in the playoff pictures as of right now no, because you're everyone is seventh. doing terrible. You're s no, oh, everyone's yeah. doing terrible, but you're sitting at number seven. The only right one who's doing well is freaking commissioner. So I'm thinking there is something going on. It's oh. freaking rigged. Sitting at five and oh. Yeah, there. five and oh. Like what the <coughs> fuck? It's always a no way. No one is near. But like literally, one game could bump three, four people down. Oh, I know. Everyone it's way is too, in. It's way too early to start talking playoffs. I mean, so much stuff is going on. Hold on, I'm trying to pull the. Uh, so much stuff is it the just changes real go. quick. So boom, 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 boom. I saw we're both two at three. Okay, I'm third in my division. Though. I know, but the division doesn't matter after the top two, and you know, division. How many winners? people go to the playoffs? Six, but the so division one, winners get automatic. Two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, you're yeah, right. Right you now, see? you and I. How many points four do I have? Okay, it says PF points you've four. You've got six oh six. How many do you have? 
No, I'm sorry. I got 606. You've got 611. See? Five points Whoa. ahead of you. So I would sneak in if the playoffs yeah, ended today. Yeah, right barely over sneak in right now. Hey. Whoa. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I got you in them five points this week. My team's going through. When are we versing each other? Because, I don't know. by the way, again, calling out to me two times, before the week started, well, I think it was smart for him. I was like, hey, you want to put some money in this fantasy game? Did you wish for it for like fun. that? Yeah. So why, maybe that's like, why he didn't take the bet. <laughs> it was like, he was like, no, you trash, Frenchie. And he just stopped that. Yeah, you can't call someone trash when you decline a bet in fantasy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's, uh, that's no, another thing. That's no good. We'll put that with ass slapping at the bar. <laughs> Same category. Just don't. Does not go. Don't. Period. Just don't. Yeah. Don't. And wow, then you gotta I get like, excited when someone right. wants to do a weekly bet yeah. with you in fantasy. Like That's you exciting. and I, when we're that fantasy game, we know we're putting money oh, on yeah, it. Big time. It's just how much we know we're putting money. It's, it goes without discussion. It's just, shame on him. Yeah, shame. He missed opportunity. Shame. Yeah, no. And I honestly thought he was gonna beat me this week because a lot of my players were on a buy. Galladay was on a buy. Uh, uh, what's his name? Who else was in a buy? My freaking tight end. This game has been trash. Higby has not been picking up too many points for me. My receivers, I have Ward as one of my starting receivers. Yeah, hey, he's been all right, though. He's been Greg all right. Ward, I'm not, he's I'm talking not. about Greg Ward on Philadelphia. Yep. He's so, filling in nicely. He's been all right. So Once we'll there's no one else to throw to. Yeah. Wait, what time are you um, Are you actually throwing this episode tomorrow? Is it going to be like around the 10 o'clock? Yeah, it should be around Why? 10. 11. Well, I wanted to give a little bit of what I'm doing with fantasy with the waivers, but I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. No, don't, don't, don't wait. Don't wait. Well, obviously, you're going well, after it, Claypool, no? I am yeah, on. come on. Everyone's going after Claypool right now. I mean, he had a really big week. What was it, 41 points, I think, yep. last week? Yep. He looked really good. Three touchdowns. I think he had like eight catches, 100-something yards. Yep. I mean, I'd... I'd See, because the, the <coughs> stop stops at what? At midnight? When does the waivers go? Yeah, to? well, it was pushed back a day because there was a Tuesday night game. No, I know, but is it midnight tonight? Uh, it, usually midnight or like two in the morning, some weird time like that. Something oh, so like this that. one will be after. Yeah, you'll get it tomorrow morning. All right, so I put $150 up, on the Yeah, that's when, a little that, steep. Is it? I mean, out of 200 because so we're we only do, giving $200. For for our what do you yeah call you it? bid on it auction auction we do the auction so you get a set amount of money for the year mm -hmm. which is it's it's fake you know fake money per yeah. se yeah and then you gotta kind of budget yourself throughout the whole season yeah. and but I that. haven't been betting on anyone I haven't used a dollar yet Strange. yeah I've only used a couple bucks um and I I don't know I I think I think Claypool is gonna have a good one. We'll see. I mean, Claypool obviously put up big numbers with uh, their number two, Deontay Johnson, out. Yep. So he's going to come back next week. Yep. So we'll really see. But I think either way, though, I mean, Big Ben is going to trust him more because yep. Claypool's a rookie receiver. And, you know, with a veteran quarterback, it always yep. takes a little bit of time to oh, trust yeah, a yeah, rookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I feel like after that big week. You don't uh, think he's going to become officially the number two over there? I, feel I, don't, I, I think Deontay Johnson's still a pretty good receiver right now. He's more proven. I mean, Claypool obviously has the potential. He's shown mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. But we'll see, you know. Is yeah. it he yeah. exploded last I week. I mean, it was against a weak Eagles secondary. We'll see. We'll We'll see. It's very true, very true, very true. We'll I see. hate my hair today. I, I know, you keep hate, playing with it, I know, it, man. I hate my hair today. It's, it's, not it's workout this. hair. You but wear it as a badge uh, of honor. It's after workout hair. Well, it's helmet hair mixed with workout hair. Yeah, it's workout hair. Definitely workout hair. All right. Um, Fulgham. Oh, yeah, he's another Philly receiver as well. I mean, he had a huge week. He had like 10 catches. Yeah, it was at 31 long. points, I think. Yeah, he had yep. another big week as well. Yep. See, the thing is with these Eagles receivers, I know they look nice right now. I don't want to put too much stock into them, though, because yep. you got to remember, Elshon Jeffrey may come back this week, which I have had in stashed on my bench five weeks. So uh, hoping well, okay. that pays off. Nice. Elshon. And then also Deshaun Jackson uh, has been hurt as well. <laughs> so when Elshon and Deshaun comes back, you got to think that they're going to lose a lot of targets. Okay. So if you're going to pick up these guys they feel like they're going to be nice fill-ins for the next three weeks mm -hmm. but you know if you're in an auction league don't put too much money into them because i th i see their targets going down especially when goddard deshaun and elshan come back yep. so i agree but with claypool i think there's a little more upside to him um uh, because you know he's yeah he's he's playing well he's already the dedicated number Wait, did three did you put he any money on them uh no i haven't put any money on anyone Oh, are you surprising? Go? I well, know. I told you what I'm doing. We're not taking each other's picks. But I, I'm just—I haven't—I haven't spent a dime yet. I'm still. Are you going after Fulgham? 
No, I'm not. I'm not going to waste my money on him. I, I like really? I like my team right now. I just got to, you know, move move some few pieces around. Gotta, I'm, I'm working well, out. Well, you got Le'Veon in your bench, so that's I not know. a good... All right, so what do you think I is going to happen with Le'Veon? Do you think he's going to get signed? I don't know. I um, Right now, you offered a trade for him yeah. um, today. I offered you a respectful. Yeah, respectful trade. It was. I just want to see where he goes because I feel like a team's going to sign him. And, you know, if he goes to, like, a high-scoring offense, mm-hmm. I feel like I'll be sad that I let him go. So I'm just going to hold on to him maybe for another maybe another few weeks and see what happens. Okay. But just very deeply disappointed in myself still. So yeah. I drafted that doucher. Sure. Uh, what? It was, like, fifth round. Okay. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, it's not early for love. I heard, um, I heard a little bit of Bears rumors that the Bears would be looking into him because you know Cohen was lost for the year because he tore his ACL. I mean, I would like it. I, well, I, there's a lot of team that could use him. Uh, oh, the yeah. Giants could use oh, him. I mean, why the hell would he go to New York? I, I see him going to a team that's kind of, you know, in playoff contention per se. You yeah. know, that's what I. I oh, think you think the, is that's what I think the do? Patriots are a sneaky call. I think the Bears are another sneaky call. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. He comes with a lot of drama, though. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I'm thinking right know. now. Is he still worth it? Easy. I mean, he's he, you could buy him low right now. I, I wouldn't mind seeing him in a Bears uniform. Yeah, he's, me neither. You know, I it's think just, he's still he got a little bit out? left. Is he going to work out for the Bears? I mean, I don't think he could hurt him right now. I no don't problem. think he's going to bring that much drama. I mean, they're four and one, and they need they need another pass catching back. I mean, they really lost a lot in Cohen. He was able to come out there, be their third down back, and stretch the field a little bit. I know there was a lot of drama when Hunt left the Chiefs, but don't we wish we had Hunt right now? Because he is having a Oh, yeah, he's having a great season. year so far, yeah. And no one wanted to touch him last year after that scandal. No? Well, rightfully so, though. I mean, He come whooped on. his girlfriend's ass. Oh, I think it wasn't what his it was. girlfriend's well, what ass. Was it? it was just some girl, I think, back uh, in a hotel. Remember, he kicked her. Okay. Remember that video where he went up and kicked I, her when she was on the ground? I don't go I into mean, Yeah, I just heard about it. It's not something that I... Re- yeah, I right don't think me. as a team, can you really regret not signing someone but because people, they kicked okay. a woman? Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Right? You can't be like, oh, man, I that guy's playing well, but I wish he was on my team. Come on, after seeing that video and stuff, it's kind of hard to really want a guy like that on your team. Oh, so you want to play good cop right now? Not good cop. I'm just saying not regret it. I I just wouldn't regret it. That's all I'm saying. It's not that. Would he be nice to have? Man, I'm not saying anything against, you know, what he did was fucked up. But how many people fuck up and get second chances? Of course, yeah. You know, that's what it comes down to. Uh, Okay, he fucked up. I'm not saying what he did was okay. But by the end of the day... You know, someone else signed him, and he, he worked out for them. Yeah, he's working out for Cleveland, If he fucks up again, that's a different story. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. someone you want to stay away from. Yeah. But, you know, you, you, only a dumbass if you keep fucking up mm-hmm. with the same situation over and over. And over. <coughs> oh, yeah. Antonio Brown. Oh, well, Antonio, well, that's, yeah. what, that's, yeah. what, that's why he's a free agent. Yeah, that's why he's a free no agent. That's why he has no one. I say that under my breath while coughing. Yeah, but. But hold on. What did Antonio Brown do with, with the girl or whatever? No, he has maybe, baby I just mean he keeps fucking up all the time. Like, he keeps getting know, in trouble all the time. A lot of people have, you know, Yeah, but, but Antonio said, Brown is I'm different. Not, Again, that's another, uh, you know, he's not, he wasn't, yeah. To what you say oh, about actually, he was in the news with some girl. Yeah, yeah, remember sexual assault oh, on the trainer right. and stuff like that. I just had the trainer that. fill his yeah, woo-hoo and yeah, all yeah. that stuff, yeah. Well, guess what? He's a free agent. Yeah. He is a free agent, so I can't really say much about nobody, it. Huh? Nobody wants to pick him up because he's a liability. It's the same type of deal. Oh, yeah, definitely. Look at our producer going with her football knowledge. Okay, okay. Well, she's around I us see all the time. That's all we I ever listen talk. to you guys talk about it, and I watch the podcast uh, like five times before I <laughs> post it. So it's like I better. Yeah, yeah she's going to be no more. All right, all right. Before she, next week, she's going to be like, you taking the Bills minus three? We're going to turn our head like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what on, did you right. just say? <laughs> Who's your contenders uh, so far? Who, uh, give me, give me, give me four. I'll give you four. Give me four, four contenders. contenders. Yeah. I mean, obviously, who's na- looking so far? Who's well, looking in good? the NFC right now, obviously the Seahawks and Packers are looking pretty strong right looking now. Very I mean, dope, those, I agree. those two. I mean, I agree. Rodgers and Wilson are playing on a whole nother level right I agree. now. Uh, I agree. I think I'm. I'm very excited to see the Rodgers Brady uh, matchup this weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, Actually, the Packers are only laying two points there, so um, I'm probably going to put a decent-sized money on the Packers, but we'll get to those picks. Those picks are later yep, on in the week. Yep, you know, yep. And the Packers do them. not want to go 
What are they now? Well, they're four zero. They're four zero, but so, they don't want to yeah. go four one because yeah, again, okay. yeah, the, the guys, Bears are four and one. <laughs> you know, right and the Bears tails. are right and tail. So, but I think in the NFC, yeah, you definitely see, um, you know, the Packers and Seahawks are kind of, you know, the front runners yep. right now. Yep. Um, I mean, going over to the AFC, obviously the Chiefs lost to the Raiders, which I was very surprised by, mm -hmm. but you still got to put the Chiefs as a front runner. I mean, the Ravens are looking good, and look at the Titans, four and zero right now. I mean, I honestly did not see them. They put a whomping on the Bills. I agree. They really put a whomping on the Bills. I mean, people forget they were in the AFC Championship. But, I mean, look at the style they play in. They're going to run. They're going to grind it out. They're going to hold the clock. Tannehill's not going to turn the ball over. Then they're going to play aggressive defense. Yep. Did you see that stiff arm? I did. By Henry? Oh, oh my yeah. God. He tossed him like a rag doll. That, looked, that yeah. was pretty nice. It was pretty. That was a nice stiff arm. It was pretty. That was a nice stiff it arm. It was pretty. So... Wait, so your picks again are Packers, Seahawks? In the NFC right now uh -huh. are the favorites okay. I would put them at. Um, and then, obviously, then in the AFC, I still Chiefs. think the Chiefs and Ravens are still a top tier up there. But I'm I sorry, mean, you're, what you're saying it as if you're doing them a favor. What do you mean, doing them a favor? What are you talking about? You said, I don't know, you know, the Chiefs and the Hesters, I think. Well, because I feel like we, we, always, talk about, we always talk about the Chiefs and Ravens. Yeah, we have and, to. and they're up there. That's all I'm saying. Up, nothing okay. has changed. Okay. Yeah, they both have lost a game, but I think nothing really has changed with them. Yep. That's all I'm saying. And then, I mean, I, th I still think that uh, I wasn't. The thing is, like. I never bet on the Titans, and people don't want to believe in and the Titans. And I was going to tell you thing. this. Why would you put the Titans? Oh, you, that's, see, they don't. They win, they don't it, they win like it's 2000. You know, they run the ball. They play it safe. They grind it out. And in today's age, you know, you want to see a passing attack. You know, I, I don't know. It's, ah, it's hard. Um, but, hey, they're undefeated right now. They're 4-0. And then, obviously, you got the Steelers who everybody are still Everybody thought undefeated. they were a fluke, but when they beat the Bills, everybody started looking at them like, hmm, what yeah, are we missing Yeah, the here? Titans were, yep. And then that, you still got that, the Steelers who have lost a game. That was a good game for them. That was a good game for them. They really played hard all game. You know what I mean? They started strong. They finished strong. Mm-hmm. They did. So I, the thing about the tight, they usually get stronger as the game goes on because they just wear you down with Henry. They wear you down, wear you yep. down, wear you down. Yep. They chew up that clock and it gets harder and harder to stop him. Yep. I mean, yep. try tackling that guy for 60 minutes. You're just, at first, you may have be amped Who's up. got him in our fantasy group? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, he he doesn't get a lot of catches, so that's where it hurts him in a PPR league. Yep. But, I mean, and that, I'm excited for the way this NFL season is going to I, I got to bring this in the podcast because it's funny as hell. Did you see your brother's game this week? Oh, yeah. He lost oh. a tough one. Oh, God. He lost a heartbreaker. Oh, in the last game by a point. One point, yeah. Oof. Uh-huh. I was looking at it, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's some tough luck. Oh, right yeah. There. Oh, yeah. That's dirty. And like the final seconds, that too, it happened. Dirty. Final second, yeah, too. Yeah, final seconds wiped away. He doesn't he doesn't chat much in that group. He doesn't talk trash much. Not nothing. He usually does. This year, he's been taking it off here. Usually, yeah. him and Miguel go back and forth. Yeah, even now. Pretty um, hard. Even, uh, you know, Commissioner Ball was kind of, like, calling him out when they were playing against each other like two weeks ago and Tommy was very chill like, oh, I'm not <laughs> yeah maybe so, and you he has fucking Kamara in his team yeah so his team is why, pretty yeah. solid yeah Kamara's yeah and Looking he was good. like no no but like, alright Tommy alright 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 NBA talk alright hey what right, did hold I say up. shut up what did I say you said you said Lakers what? in six what happened it's Lakers in six <laughs> alright <laughs> Is that right on the money? Or you des is that you the deserve money? the dinner. Say it's in a second. You deserve the dinner. When's the reservation? Did I, you book it yet? I Listen. Well, they won the ship three days ago. I, I thought you would have booked this reservation by I now. Said, let the Laker fans, you know, celebrate first. And then we'll celebrate after. Don't All worry. Right. We, I got your look, reservation. Look at the Don't. screen. Even Google is like the right. yellow and purple. Look at that. That's cool. Did you see that? Now go to Satan Second's mm -hmm. website and I'm, book the I'm, I'm, four spots and that's for, not, that's spots not, that's for, not, hey, for listen, Friday night. I love the food at Satan Second anyway, so I don't mind. Yeah. But I just, ugh, God, I can't stand that dude. I, what I dude? Don't, that dude, I just can't stand him. LeBron. Oh, LeBron. I can't stand him. <laughs> why? Because of his post-game presser? Is that Everything why? Everything about him is trash. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a hot take. I, that's a biased take too. About him is that's a biased. Trash. Oh God. come on, man! No come class, on. no class at all. No class. 
you know what's no class? No class. I think you're going Listen, down a dangerous MJ, road, brother. MJ, you're going down as a much, dangerous road. As much as we want to talk about road. him. MJ had class. Kobe, man. It rip your throat. Okay, what? Well, I don't understand. Said, right. I, just what that, do you that, mean? That, that, that I interview. Think LeBron has that, done a lot of good things. That post interview NBA, it just rubbed me the wrong way. Everything about it rubbed me the wrong what, way. What? Uh, I demand respect? Yeah. There that's the do. only thing that. Yeah, that's the only thing that's rubbing you the wrong way. Yeah. Not. Have you ever seen MJ coming out and say, I demand respect? It have goes you ever, without saying for MJ. Have you Kobe. ever seen Kobe coming out and say, I demand respect? They don't have to ask for it, they just get it. Because they'll cut their cutthroat. It shows that LeBron, you know, listens to all the critics out there that I'm not giving him the respect that he thinks he deserves. Listen, dude, I just cannot stand him. I can't stand him. The way. <sighs> all right, fine. Come on. Fine. Let's, fine. Let's 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 talk about it. Let, are we giving props to Miami for making it to Game Six? Do, Do you not think... realize we're a California-based podcast? <laughs> <laughs> talking trash about LeBron is not going to go well for many of the I viewers. I love out the there. Lakers fans. I don't like LeBron. And by the way, Lakers fans just have LeBron as a rental. They know he's not a Laker what guy. You mean? Oh, he's, yeah. Is he Kobe? Is he Shaq? Okay, what happened he... if he wins some th- uh, another title? Would he then? That's more than a rental, huh? Two championships? Come uh, on, hold no? on. Let me think about this. You got another think... championship? No. It's got to be three and over. <laughs> It's got to be three oh, and my, over. My Frenchie's rules. It's got to be three and over not to be considered Can a rental. Can I explain to you why? Who are well, the... I think you've had a pretty biased opinion on it, LeBron, this whole take right here. All it's right, been well, a little let's, bit let's, hot over again, here. Again, I can break it, it down. It's a steamy over All here. Right, let, me, let me break it down for you whenever you're ready. Because he's... All right, go ahead. How many rings does Kareem has with the Lakers? I don't know. <laughs> can we can we actually know, look three, that up? Four. I mean, all right, hold on. Where's We're, this take going? This is already a bad on. start. Just, no, it's not. It is. No. C- what does this have to do with? Wait, wait, let me know when I can finish. Go ahead. Thank you. All well, right. you can't just tell me it's a bad take and not let me finish well, and see where I'm going with this. This is a terrible take. No, it's not. You're talking wait, about you're, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yes, I am. Six. No, n- with the Lakers. Oh, okay. Hold on. I mean, you don't even know this. You're, Hold on. You're, you I know it's. Know I, I know. I know it's more than three. Okay. So it's five. 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 Okay. Magic has five with the Lakers. Kobe has five with the Lakers. Okay. Shaq has three with the Lakers. Uh, hold on. Okay. Can I? Well, Wilt. I, it's hard for Wilt me to has get five to... with the Lakers. Okay. This takes every over... time we talk about the greatest Lakers ever, yeah, those are the guys that keep coming fine. up. That's fine. It doesn't. That, this has nothing to do with that at all. This is about LeBron's legacy. Okay. No. This is we're about We're talking LeBron. to him about No, we talk we were talking about the rental and the Lakers. Who gives a shit about that? Oh, he okay. just won his fourth championship. Okay. So what you, what does it matter the greatest Laker of all? What is that? No. Yeah, what? he's going to end his career there. Yeah, he's going to play what? 5 total years as a Laker. Mm-hmm. He's not going to go down as the greatest Laker of all time. He's going to go down as one of the greatest players of all time. Is he? Yeah, that just ju- this championship just jumped in into number 2. Number 2? Number 2 behind so Michael Jordan. So you still Jordan. have MJ? B- yeah, I still have MJ as the goat. I still think he was a killer. He was a different kind of animal. I mean, 6 championships, he didn't lose any. The thing with LeBron, what it comes down to is those NBA finals that he lost. Really All right. Hurt so him. how, what, okay. In your mind, what does LeBron need to do to surpass, to surpass MJ? I don't think there's anything that LeBron could do right now. So even if really he wins, him. wins the next four. I honestly do not think there's anything else there could do. I mean, well, that's MJ, a hot garbage shake because you tell me even if he wins the next four, he can't surpass MJ. I'm letting you know. My opinion right now. That's what you were doing to me while I was talking, by the way. I just wanted because to Because you're, you're I just so wanted, far I just into wanted. left field. It was just terrible. It was a listen, terrible take. Listen, you was, looked into the camera. You're uh, like, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. How many championships does he have? That's what I have. So we, that's what we have a producer uh, for. Go write me a cashier's <laughs> check and break that. <laughs> Hold uh, on, hold on, you jobless uh, fuck. You're about to be jobless uh, very soon. Hold you can't on. Replace Danny Blue hold Eye. on. No, not me. I'm saying, but your actual job. Uh, and Fresh is going to be paying for the bills very soon. Just uh, Husky Man is going to be paying for the bills very soon. Just hold on. Hold we on. Spo- we got a sponsor yet? Or what's, what's going down with it? <laughs> We're talking. We did get some offers, I heard. I'm not I'm not rushing yeah. into it. I know, I know you want me to, but I'm not rushing into it. It's okay. We got all the time. In the world. 
It's all right. We just started this two months ago. Um, we're doing much better than I expected after two months. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with that. All right. So going back to the LeBron MJ, let's be let's 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 be serious for one second. Um, does LeBron first of all deserve this one? Of course he does. He's not do riding mean? over AD's cocktail. I mean, obviously AD had a huge part to cocktail, do with it, cocktail. but I mean, yeah, <laughs> cocktail, like cocktail. Cocktail. I was like, I don't know what that <laughs> what is. That, good. This, uh, that must be on. French. I mean, LeBron won the finals MVP. He deserved it. Almost average. What did he average a triple double in the finals? It was pretty damn close. If yes. he didn't, yeah, like what, like thirty one points a game, something like that. I don't have the stats in front of but, me. I mean, but I just look at the eye test, man. I mean, he won yeah. this one. Yeah. He came out. Obviously, AD had a lot to do with it. A lot of flopping, man. You're trying to knock them down. They were clearly the best team in the bubble. Sure. And they deserve it. You can't put any asterisk over They didn't it. play the best team in the bubble. The best team in the bubble fucked up and left too Correct. early because of bad coaching. Uh, because of Paul George. That's why. No. Because of Kawhi Leonard. Where did they go? Where? They're superstars. No. Exactly. can't give you that one. Okay. You no. can't give me their that's, superstars. That's exactly. trash. That's a trash take right there. It's not a trash take. Yeah, they were up 3-1. Don't tell me Kawhi and, and P. George were not there. Okay. They were Real up 3-1. You're right. If they had a good coach, if you had someone in the Phil, you know, in, in um, I'm sorry, in the Phil Jackson category, sure. But they didn't. They had Doc Rivers. Everybody's hyped over Doc Rivers. One of the best coaches ever. He's not one of the best coaches ever. He should have had more than one. In freaking Boston. And that's it. That's his resume. That's it. There's nothing else. He came to the Clippers. He had the, they, they, they had a solid team. I know, but the Clippers Went lost to a rebuild and then gave them the best team in the league and still couldn't win. Okay, the Clippers lost to a good Nuggets team. The Nuggets were a great story. They really played some good basketball. I agree. And they played harder than them. They yeah. played better down the stretch. I agree. So I don't know. You, what's you, the problem? Gonna, yeah, we were robbed as fans from the Lakers Clippers. You're going to tell me that all. Clippers team, if they got their shit together and were coached the right way, they couldn't win one more game in that series? It's, it's, it came down to wanting it, and the Clippers didn't want it. Why would you want to see a matchup from a team that didn't freaking want to be there? The Clippers voted. They didn't want to be there. Lou was out of the bubble. All these players were in and out of the bubble. They didn't want to be there. They didn't want it. I don't want to watch a team that doesn't want it. LeBron wanted it. AD wanted it. They were hungry, and they took it. This they took what was from theirs. from a dude that lived in Chicago most of his Trust life. Trust me. I'm a huge Bulls fan, and I hated LeBron for many years. But I'm just saying they earned it. You can't take that away from you them. Don't, there's, the flopping is not there, huh? Well, I think the whole NBA is a lot softer than it uh, was back, you know. No, back but I'm in talking about LeBron, all the flopping. You I mean, I think flopping? a lot of people in the NBA do that. All right. I mean, I think the NBA, yeah, it has gotten a lot softer, which is unfortunate. All right. What are the what are the the moves that you see happening in this summer? Or not this summer? Usually, it's in the summer, so something like in the summer. What What are the moves that you would like to see in the NBA before um, the next regular season starts? Well, I mean, I think a lot of the moves right now, I think you're going to see a change of forecast, but I think it's moves that are already set in stone. I think you already see um, Golden State. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are they going to be next year healthy? They got, you know, they got Curry, they got Clay, they got Draymond back. Yep. You know, you add in Andrew Wiggins yep. in there, they get a top pick. Are they going to trade the pick? And then going out to the east, you got Brooklyn Nets. Obviously, we're going to see how Kyrie and KD do. I mean... KD could come back at an MVP level. We don't know that. Mm -hmm. I don't think he will, but I mean. I do. I do. I just don't know if him and Kyrie will work. Because, uh, I mean, I do like Kyrie better than Westbrook for him. And by the way, again, this is another hot take, and I don't care if you hate me for it. I'm over Westbrook. Oh, well, we know. You've said it many times. Yeah, and I want to say it one more time. Said I it just many cannot times. stand the dude. Um, I, maybe he's a great person, but he's a shitty basketball player. And you well, said a shitty it, basketball it, player would. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. What is with you in these takes today? Well, oh, just, LeBron listen, is classless. Listen. Oh, listen, he's a shitty he basketball takes player. Super I mean, shit. It's all about his emotions when it comes to Westbrook. It's all about his emotions. I'm just going to let you know a shitty basketball player doesn't win the MVP. A shitty basketball player. In OKC? A shitty basketball player. Rebounding all the balls. Let's, let's be clear. Those triple doubles was, were bullshit from the get-go. He was the first player uh -huh. since Oscar Robinson 50 years sure. ago to average a triple double in a season. 
Okay. I'm, I'm and you're calling those triple doubles bullshit. Then what happened? He gets to the playoffs, he gets knocked out right away. He gets an eight seed. Yeah, and he, he gets had knocked no out help. right away. Yeah. He He's a no freaking point No guard. one can play with the dude. KD couldn't play with him. Paul George couldn't play with him. Harden couldn't play with him. No one can play with him. He can't get someone to play with him. So he plays by himself, it's a problem. We get him a superstar, it's a problem. So which one is it? Do you want to see him play with another superstar next year? Like I heard the Bucks were were thinking of trading for him. I don't like that matchup. I mean, I don't like that that I mean that that you know bringing him to a team with Giannis. It well, won't Giannis work. needs some kind of help, he whether it's CP3. Westbrook or CP3. anybody. He I mean, needs he needs some kind of help. That's for sure. He needs someone to run the floor for him, and he needs someone that could shoot, and he needs someone that can pass. He needs CP3 in his team because CP3 wants to win. Really bad. Now we understand that CP3, you know, like he had that team in the Clippers. Yeah, they should have won at least one. But now seeing how, it, you know, it's wrapping up with, I mean, how he ended with Doc Rivers this year. Like, I can't blame the dude for not winning. I really can't. And, and you know, Blake was always injured. Mm. DJ can't shoot a free throw for the life of it's him. It's crazy how much you don't hear Blake Griffin's name anymore since he went to Detroit. You he still do, believe it or not, in the commercials. <laughs> in commercials, he yeah. He still makes a lot of commercials. It's sad because he's a really talented dude. Of course, yeah. I mean, he's still putting up decent numbers in Detroit, but yeah, I think just out of the spotlight the now. The whole Detroit move killed him. Yeah, it did. Killed him. Yeah. Not the right market for him. Not at all. <laughs> he, was he, he belongs in L.A. He go, loved L.A. <laughs> you go from dating a, a Kardashian to, like, Detroit. <laughs> dating a train. No hate on Detroit. Calm down, yeah. Detroiters. Or whatever the hell they call them now. <laughs> Detroit. Like, <laughs> Happy Kathy's going to come uh, with her show. Detroit. <laughs> Detroiters. People watching in Detroit probably like those assholes sitting in Huntington Beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like Blake Griffin needs to um, rebound. I'd no, like to see Blake in a good team next year. I hope so. I love he's to see him in Detroit, though. It is. Yeah, I think the NBA is set up really nicely for next year, though, because I mean, there's oh no, so some many... trades are gonna happen. I know some trades are gonna happen, but like as of right now, I mean, the layout's really nice. You know, the Clippers are gonna be back. You know, the Lakers mm -hmm. are gonna be back. I mean, Denver obviously have proved they their figured own out the, co the coaching problem with the Clippers. Oh, no, not yet. Not, not that yet. I know of yet. Yeah, no, not that, that I haven't I heard of. anything. I haven't heard too much of it yet. So. I haven't heard a lick. Yeah, but they, but they honestly, though, you got to, I mean, just looking at the NBA for next season, you got to say there's probably like seven, eight title contenders. I mean, just off the bat. Wouldn't you say so? I agree. I mean, you're thinking four or five out west and then maybe three or four in the east. You know what everyone is? Because of Miami, you know, Milwaukee, you know who, Brooklyn. Who's everyone sleeping on? Dallas. And you got Dallas too. That's the thing. You I wouldn't feel like even Dallas, include Dallas if in they it. get the right role players for Luca and Pozingas. Maybe one good player. And, and you got to imagine players. Luca and Pozingas are only going to get better together. Oh my they are gosh. only playing half a season yeah. together. Luca was on this, um, on a rapid rise. To Pozingas start needs to stay healthy because I already like his game. He I could know. Sure it's three. just his body frame. Just is yeah, it's weak. It's, it's weak. Yeah. He's so tall and skinny. Yeah. He's kind of got like my legs. Yeah, but um, just. I love, his, I love his game. I love his game. He's a tall dude. He 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 cleans up. The, you know he, he he likes to rebound. He likes to block shots. He can shoot. He can you know sort of lay up whatever. Um, I like his game. I'd like him to be a little faster, mm -hmm. going up oh, and down yeah. the court a little bit faster. No, I think the I know the NBA season is not going to probably start to I think it's like December mm -hmm. or start of the new year. But yeah. I mean, yeah, the whole schedule got fucked this year because we would have been in the new season. Hey, but already. know what? Hey, I remember not having nothing. Actually, the bubble like that's right when we started our podcast yep. and we had questions about it and. Yep. Talk about the own. They had no problems, I agree. no tests, like no positive test, not nothing. for the whole three months. Nothing. How great is that? The bubble worked out to perfection for the NBA. I think it was really a huge su success. Do you huge. See, do you see Doc Rivers working out in Philly? Well, who knows? I mean, I think he's better than Brett Brown. <laughs> I mean, Brett Brown stayed way too long there. I mean, what was he there for? Seven years? Do, eight years? Yeah. So, but do you? Do you see them missing a piece, or do you think they're of good enough they're to come it. out of the East? I to come out of the East? The oh, east. I don't know. I mean, 
I mean, if Ben Simmons learns how to shoot a jumper within the next few months, I think they have a chance, but I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't either. I don't. Just I really pick don't. up a damn ball and start shooting, man. I agree. I start agree. shooting. He, he's very talented. Very talented. Very talented. It just depends all on his physical traits. It's very, very talented. All right. I think it's shower time. It's shower. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking <laughs> smelling over here. We both didn't shower. Wait, overnight. hold on. We're not smelling. All actually, right, all right. Actually, yeah, all right. You all think right. you smell like roses after working out? Don't, but you know. But <laughs> <laughs> can I use the towel and some stuff? And do some we do we cover everything? I think we so covered everything, we right? Most of it. It was a nice, a chill podcast for once. Yeah, so like, <laughs> it was like, yeah, you know. You know we're my... usually very serious with the NFL picks and yeah. you know giving these, all these, the breakdowns of the games. No, we're gonna change it. Starting this week, we're gonna start giving you guys. Some four best, picks. Some best bets. Exactly. We're going to start giving you four picks that Our we picked bets. for you guys. So Danny's mm-hmm. going to have these four picks. I'm going to have my four. I think and, we are um, almost identical on our picks. I think we both went like 11-3 and three last week. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, we were 11-3. Yeah, You're right. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. not too shabby. That is not too shabby. We're literally uh, picking games at like an 80% clip out here, which is, you know, <laughs> I mean, tell me somewhere else you're going to get that. I agree. I agree. So, again, like I said, good laughs, free money. What else do you want from your podcast? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Please. Tell, let, us let, know. let us know. We'll, we'll do yeah, it. Yeah, comment. Let us know. Let, comment. If you get a chance to comment, comment. If you want something else, let us know. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining in again. It's been Trendy a Husky Podcast is right out of Huntington Beach. Thank you so much for everyone for watching. If you haven't gotten the chance, please subscribe. Deuce is down. There you go. Danny Blue Eye needs it. Needs it. I sure as hell need it now. <laughs> I need a hug. <laughs> I need a hug. So please Why don't you, subscribe. Uh, invite your friend over. You'll there give you me a go. little ass slap. Follow us. Share our stuff. That'll be cool too if you could share our stuff. Share. Um, I want to hear your uh, thoughts on this ass slapping. Is it only yeah. good on the field or is it allowed anywhere else? Actually, all right. I yeah. do want to hear. Does uh, yeah is ass slapping between dudes okay now? Because I have not gotten the memo. We so. say just on the field, it's uh, okay. Yeah. For me and Dad, but that's the only time. It's true. I agree. I agree. I'd like to hear another scenario. It yeah, is please okay. let us know. Let us know. Is ass slapping okay now? All right. Till next time. This one is a wrap.